and a welcome back. The first DIY is going to be a sweet skull and I'm going to take one of these skull sculptures from the Dollar Tree and just take it off its stand. And I'm going to use a straight edge to cut out an opening at the top of the skull. You can make yours as large as you want it to be. I started out using the straight edge and then ended up using the scissors to cut off the rest. I'm going to spray paint it with this Krylon Satin Ballet Slipper and for the base I will be spray painting that with this Copper Rose spray paint. And look who came to pay me a visit outside. I've never seen a praying mantis in this color before. And also comment below guys. Is it normal for them to walk like this? Look how it has sort of this bouncy walk. I don't know if that's normal or not. So it just went up the wall walking like that. All right, back to the DIY. I'm spray painting the skull with the satin ballet spray paint. Now the point of this, I was challenged to make Halloween decor DIYs that were not quite as, I guess, edgy as the other decor that I have been making. So that's why I'm using this pastel color and hopefully I will achieve my goal. This is how it looked once it dried. And for the eyes, I will be hot gluing two of these iridescent gems from Dollar Tree right into the eye sockets. And that's how it looks with its bejeweled eyes. For the top, I will be using this pink baby breath from Dollar Tree. You could use roses, carnations, whatever you want. And then using this pink and white gingham ribbon also from Dollar Tree, I tie a shoelace bow and I am going to hot glue it right down to the side. Be sure of where you place it because if you hot glue it and then take it off, it will take the paint off with it. I cut a piece of floral foam to the size of the opening of the skull and I'm going to stick the flowers into the floral foam and then place it back into the skull. So comment below and let me know if this is cute or spooky. Stay tuned to the end to see how the base turned out. For our next DIY, we're going to make a framed grumpy cat. And this is reusing a DIY from Mother's Day. If you missed that video, I will link it below. I take everything out of the frame and I printed this off from Pinterest. So I'm just going to cut it out. I'm going to place the glass over the picture of the cat. And then I'll be using a Sharpie paint pen to trace it out. The reason that I'm doing this is because I have an inkjet printer and it doesn't have the best quality. So I wanted it to be really black. And that's why I am tracing it out over the glass. And that's how it turned out. You could put a different paper behind it for a different effect, but I chose to use white. For the last DIY, I'm going to make a bat gnome using this ghost. Happy ghost, sad ghost. Happy ghost, sad ghost. <laughs> and I'm just going to remove the felt pieces from the front. And I will set those aside and use them in another DIY. Now I'm going to take a scrap piece of black felt and use that to cover the bottom of the little bat gnome.
I'm going to use this dark wood bead for his nose. And then I'm going to wrap the top, which will be his hat, in this purple felt. For his wings, I will be using this headband from Dollar Tree. And I wanted to show you the difference between just ripping it off and cutting it off. And you will see that it is 100 times better to cut it off than to rip it off. You can see how that edge is frayed. So definitely take the time to cut it off the headband. Now I'm going to take this little piece of Mongolian faux fur. I will link the Etsy shop where I got this in the description box below. And I'm just going to adhere it with hot glue. In a perfect world, I would have done this before I put the hat on. Now I'm ready to hot glue the wings onto the little bat gnome. And I also decided to hot glue the ears. Next time I would not do the ears. I think the ears would be better with a larger, longer hat. I took another scrap piece of felt and I folded it over into thirds and I created a band to go around the edge of the bottom of his hat and now I'm hot gluing that on as well. And that's how he looks so far. Here is how the base of the skull sculpture turned out in the copper rose spray paint and I think it turned out so cute. Our grumpy cat in the cute pink frame. And here is our little bat gnome made from the ghost. Drop a comment below and let me know, have I met the challenge? Have I made Halloween decor that is still, it still reads Halloween, but it's not so dark and spooky. Decor like this would be great if you have a color theme and you want to stick to that theme but still decorate for the holiday. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. I hope that you will subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I've uploaded a new video. If you like today's projects, please give the video a thumbs up. This does help my channel out greatly and I appreciate it. I hope you all are staying safe and are well and I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.